Hello, and welcome to the second integration workflow video, engineering the PX automation station with XWorks Plus. We're going to demonstrate how the solution partner will benefit from the following features. Centralized data, complete network check, and the intelligent valve compound. The main tasks involve checking the complete network and configuring the solution. The product implementation follows the same building hierarchy, system topology, and network plan as introduced in the previous video. With the XWorks Plus open, we start the engineering by checking the network configuration. The intelligent valves engineered in ABT site are populated in the tree structure, as both tools use the same database. Executing the network check will indicate any inconsistencies, like non-unique IP addresses and BACnet device instance numbers or violated IP ranges within the IP network segment. In our case, the network check is successful, with no errors or warnings. In the next step, we'll configure the solution for the intelligent valve. To do so, we switch to the CFC editor. In the Charts tab, we navigate to the first air handling unit. Unlock the cooling coil. And open it. What we see here is the cooling coil compound. The program already includes an analog output block for the valve. We're going to use this block as the output for the intelligent valve. Let's now integrate the intelligent valve into this solution. By the way, it is also within this cooling coil structure that the intelligent valve objects will appear as a node in Dezigo CC. We switch to the Libraries tab and navigate to the Intelligent Valve Compound Library. And drag and drop the compound with the pre-configured alarming and trending. We'll use the existing analog output to control the intelligent valve and read the intelligent valve data via the compound. To achieve this, we need to configure the signal addresses, starting with the analog output and following with the intelligent valve compound. We start by opening the I.O. address editor. And sort the I.O. addresses by TD. We first establish communication from the analog output block to the intelligent valve. We change the subsystem type to BACnet, and then edit the signal address to reference the intelligent valve object set point relative. One term of the BACnet reference is the triple zero used as a placeholder for the device instance number. We also set the program priority array to 16. Now we set up communication from the intelligent valve to the PX automation station. Select the IOs that reference the intelligent valve compound. Search for the triple zero placeholders and replace them with 220, the device instance number of the first intelligent valve. Confirm and click on OK to apply the changes. The slope of the intelligent valve object set point relative is different from the analog output default value. We open the parameter editor and change the valve accordingly. Once done, 
we click on OK. Now we need to deactivate the relative set point data point from the intelligent valve compound. Relative set point is not required since we are using the analog output to control the intelligent valve. We click on Configure Solution and uncheck this data point option from the list. At this point, the essential configuration is complete. However, we can continue to optimize the configuration. As we know, the license cost is based on the number of data points. To optimize this cost, we can deactivate any IOs that are not relevant for the application. Since the intelligent valve is running in a cooling coil application, we deselect the total heating energy and total heating volume flow data points. We finish up by clicking on Change. The integration of the intelligent valve into the PX Automation Station is now complete. To learn about commissioning the intelligent valves, check out the next video.